Okay, to give you a nice little track uh, assembly guide, uh, I'll try and do this the best I can for on camera. It's a little awkward, but it's not bad. So basically, you just get all these track links. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven track links. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven track link links. Um, then you have a nice little jig that goes right in there like that. They line up, they slide in all these at the same time, and then you get the other side in. You slide them in here into your jig. Now I'm just trying to do this on camera. It's not the easiest thing in the world on camera because you're doing it for the camera, not for making it. Here, let's hold it there. Let's. There we are. That's better. Sorry guys, this is, since I don't have a big camera crew, I'm doing this all by myself. <laughs> Who does have a camera crew? Nobody that I know of doing models. And then you just drive it right in there. They fit really nice and snug. So as you can see, there's another second length then. So you can get quite a few done at a time. And you peel them out. Um, we'll peel this out like this. Trying to keep it all on camera here. Just lift her all out in one nice big section. We'll go like that. We've got it sectioned. Let's see, find my camera. Where's my camera? Come on. There, sorry guys. I know this is this is not the easiest thing when you're trying to. And then just a little dab of glue on each one. We'll let those set up and then we'll trim them off. So we've just finished up uh, step five. Tracks are on. And the tracks actually went together pretty good. About mm, two, maybe three hours. I mean, length of a hockey game. Uh, last night, listened to the uh, Oilers get beat by the <clears throat> Minnesota. And uh, so just a li tiny little filler right under here a little line in there and we'll uh, fill it in. We've done a little bit of texturing on here this was a, a cold rolled armor plate so there should be a little bit of texture. You don't want it really rough but uh, just a little bit to make it look. Um, this back area here my understanding was cast so you want to rough that up a bit. The turret's going to need a lot of uh, a lot of work some texturing on it but we're just getting on to the uh, back plate now. The detail on this is actually quite nice it's a uh, it's a little bit fiddlier than say the uh, the trumpeter kit or the um, to make it, but the detail is nice. It's not really super crisp detail, but it's there and it's kind of hard to describe. It's it's kind of muddy. The detail's there, but it's soft detail. It's nice. It's not nice sharp crisp uh, injection molding like say a dragon or something. But still, at this price point, I just expect a little bit more but it's not bad you know it, it the kits there uh, why does it always come down to price but it does you know like I say when you're spending this kind of coin I yeah 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 I just want when I'm spending 80 bucks for a kit I damn well want it perfect so what can I say that's just me I'm a cheap bastard but that's okay because of my money and I <laughs> anyway let's carry on Lower hall's coming along, we're on just starting step nine. I jumped ahead a bit, put the halls together, put the running gear on, added a little bit of battle damage. Uh, it's gonna get a lot more battle damage. You see right there, we've got uh, one glazed uh, shot, and then we've got a couple more right here and here. So use your imagination, that could be uh, a 90, US 90 millimeter round from a long distance, uh, 105 millimeter round from a long distance, or maybe a 75 or 76 from a shorter distance. So, just a couple of highlights. Um, the light guards are really nicely done. Light guards look awesome. The fenders, for some reason, gave me quite a bit of trouble. These inner fenders just were a bugger to get in, and then they just all of a sudden just popped in, and they were they were fine after that. The rear hull's coming along nicely. I uh, lost one small piece to the carpet, carpet gremlin, but I just added another piece that kind of looks like a generic, and it, it'll flow once we get it weathered up. we still got some photo etch to place over the grills, and uh, it's coming along nicely. We'll be getting into the, uh, the turret here shortly. 
the lower hull is complete on this Mang T10M. If I was going to give it a rating out of uh, 5, 2.5, 3, it doesn't suck, but it's nothing special. It's just okay. The uh, rear drums, meh, okay. Nasty seam lines. Uh, the straps just don't line up. So I just added a little bit of styrene straps on there to make that clean up. These two little uh, front drums, the uh, diesel exhaust, the um, smoke discharging drums, they were a complete see you next Tuesday to put together. The fit was, was not great. Uh, guys, I would really recommend when you build this kit, not to glue down the supports to the lower, but put them all together, put the supports and the drums all in one so they can be put placed together in a single unit as opposed to trying to uh, putting the, the mounting points down and putting the drums on top build them all together build them modularly and, and attach them to the um, rear deck highly recommend that photo etch is nice went on good you'll need to do a tiny little bend along the sides of these just to give them a little radius they fit on nice fairly detailed might be a little bit too fine even this sucked Putting this friggin' ditching post, that sucked out of more of anything. Trying to get these three points to line up. Yeah, poorly engineered. Uh, you're going to have to do some fitting to get them on. Not this. I would say go find yourself a stick in the backyard and put some straps on and use that as opposed to this. Bad. Bad. A couple of the highlights. The um, Toolboxes are really nicely detailed, really nicely done. The front uh, bullet screens, the bullet splash guards on the front are nicely done. Uh, like I said, we've got some clear parts to put in. Honestly, guys, I would, I, I don't like clear parts. I just soon have it done in um, the standard coloration and then just paint the damn thing. But I'll, I'll go through all the steps and hoops and all that. Um, maybe. I'll probably just end up gluing the, uh, the clear pieces in and then painting them like I always do. That's really all you need. Clear parts are, on a piece of armor are not necessary. Really they aren't. But the only place you might need a clear part is the, uh, the front headlights. And I've got to still uh, put those in after painting. So that's, that's another pain. Uh, like I said, I'm just not a big fan of clear parts. I just as soon as paint them up and, and leave, get a lot of them going out. The photo etch is nice. Uh, the link to link tracks actually went together really well. Overall, like I said, 2.5, maybe 2.75 out of uh, out of five on this lower hall build. And three if I pushed it. So uh, let's hit the turret. Continuing on the turret, we finished up the commander's cupola. The one thing I found in this kit is that uh, the big components fit together and nicely detailed. It's the little fiddly bits that generally are meh. Just not so spit hot. Like this, uh, this, this goes together nicely. Spins around fine. The hinges was the hinge was very poorly done. Did not like the way the hinge went together, and you can see that it just, you just have to kind of flip it open, but we will be having it open because we are going to have a couple of Soviet casualties out here. I do have a diorama for this. And uh, I'm going to get started on the, I've got three builds to go. I'm going to do three builds concurrently here in a bit. But this T10M from Ming is coming along nicely. All right, this colossal PIA is done. I hate being so negative, but man, I have just been not having good luck lately in, on building models. It's finished. Thank goodness it's finished. I've still got some battle damage to do. This heavy machine gun here. Just a complete pain in the buttocks to put together. Locating holes are just either too big or too small and blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. Didn't like it. Overall, did I enjoy the building this kit? Not really. No, not really. Would I build another one? Absolutely not. Do I love Ming? No, well, not so much. Do I hate it? Eh, well, not so much. But uh, it's finished. There's no real great 
pitfalls. It's just an average fitting, average detail, kind of mediocre kit. It's of a really cool subject. I'll give them that. I love the subject matter. But, I don't know. I don't know. This is only my second main kit. I've got a couple more queued up to build. But uh, there you go, guys. The T10M by Meng. What would you give it out of five? Glockster 42. I'd give it about a two and a half. The red, the um, photo etch is not bad. The detail is pretty good. It's just that it's a real fussy build. Things just don't fit real good. They don't fit bad, but they don't fit great. You know, it's just... I'm not going to say it was a disappointment, but it was kind of a... Like I say, it was just a colossal... Pain in the ass to build. So there you have it, guys. T10M. I've just got some battle damage to put on it for the diorama that's going in. And uh, then she's all done. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the subscriptions, all the subscribers, the views, all that kind of cool stuff. So take care. Go build some models and have some fun and have a life. Later, guys.